besides dietary changes, what other lifestyle changes can we make to help prevent cancer or go into remission? Yes, exercise is important, but not over-exercising. Right. Um, again, uh, there, there's a, a tendency to kill yourself <laughs> uh, during an exercise program, which suppresses the immune system. Uh, it was found that if you exercise in a way that uh, gets your heartbeat moving very quickly and then you relax mm -hmm. uh, for, let's say, you do that for one minute and you relax for another minute or two and then you, you raise your heart again, then now uh, with doing that two, three, four, five times, it's like Interval having... Interval training, is that yes. what it's called? Um, and it's, you, know, you, you find that people who are like short distance runners, they mm -hmm. have the healthiest hearts and the healthiest lungs and they have you know, good muscle tone, so they are much, much better uh, yeah, and they're healthier than the people that are long distance runners that have uh, diminished lung capacity, their hearts literally shrink um, and their lungs becoming smaller. So they, they are uh, you, you know, losing muscle mass and uh, you know, resources Their hearts in the body. actually shrink? Yes. And so, whereas if you do that, like, you, know, you don't see animals constantly running all day long, right? <laughs> uh, you don't no. see them stressing out over, they run they, they, a little bit and then they stop and graze and then they run again mm -hmm. and walk. And, and so that's how we are supposed to do it. Um, we have used exercise as a way to uh, burn off calories, yes, as if yeah. that is a, mm -hmm. a solution to our health problems and the obesity problem in this country at a time when 60% um, you know, of the people are overweight or obese. That has to do something with the foods we are putting in, uh, less to do with the exercise. Um, you, know, you don't need to over-exercise to be healthy. Um, some stretching and some moving, yeah, that's important. Yoga. Or you know, just the house, your know, chores, you know, oh, you know, some gardening or some things. So it doesn't have to be something as structured no. as yoga. When you go back to a uh, hundred years ago, people were all thin. Mm -hmm, they were. Uh, you go to Asia or when I you know, lived in India, I didn't see an obese person in 83. It has changed now in the big cities because McDonald's, you mm -hmm. know, fast food restaurants, and uh, you know, new lifestyles, no more time for eating, no. you know, sitting down and eat. Now you have to do that, get a sandwich, eat it while you drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so there's a, a big uh, you know, difference of lifestyle. That and that's in to, India. And they didn't exercise. I mean, they didn't like run around mm -hmm. on treadmills and you know, weightlifting. And, and you, you see the strongest people are like, I, I spent a time in, uh, some time in Nepal. Mm -hmm. I saw an old woman uh, going up with a load of you know, rocks or water mm -hmm. going up you know, the hill, steep hill, mm -hmm. for hours. Sometimes they had to go just to get water. And so you, they are so strong, 80 years old, and they carry this thing. I couldn't lift their bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you see the, the energy that is running through people's bodies uh, is so much more than it is today. So it's the congestion uh, that uh, causes an energy deficit, that the energy can no longer you know, move throughout the system. And uh, at a later stage, we may be able to talk about you know, what causes that. So exercise, but not going at it 110 percent normal intermittent moving around. Yes, aerobic exercise has now shown to be a leading cause of injury, internal and you know, like mm -hmm. injuries to muscles, because you overstretch, or the, the body is not supposed to you know, have your know, workout so hard that you damage the body. You think of all those gurus out there, all those exercise gurus. It's already yeah, changing. There, there's this um, moderation coming into you know, uh, you know, the the exercise you know, systems, and they they found that if you uh, if women who have breast cancer walked three times a week for mm -hmm. half an hour each, they would reduce their risk you know, of or, or they, they would, can reverse their cancers uh, at a rate of you know, up to 45 percent. So. Ex simple exercising is sometimes more beneficial than rigorous uh, killer exercises.